Hello again. Back of the car. I seem to be in the, spending a lot of time in the back of the car. This is a little in-betweeny video and um, you're going to see a few more little in-betweeny videos. See we're heading into autumn and so the opportunities for playing after work are diminishing. So the opportunities for recording are most definitely diminishing. Of course part of that is two and a half million people have taken up golf over here and golf courses are rammed and you know I've abandoned at least six or even seven videos after three or four holes because it was just too busy and I didn't want to get in other people's way. So the main videos are going to get spaced out a little bit more. At the moment I'm doing sort of like every five days aren't I so they may go every seven days and then I'll do a little in-betweener that is cheap on my time. Now in one of the videos coming up I say something uh, which I think is very important. So I'm going to get it out now as opposed to waiting for that video to appear. Now when I make a video I express opinions, my opinions which are based on my experience in golf and to some extent the golf course that I'm playing. But they're not your opinions because they're not your experiences. So what I'm trying to say in a roundabout way is um, just because I'm the guy with the camera it doesn't make me right. And that is important for you to know how I feel about your comments and your opinions. You see, what's the best way of putting this? Every time I play golf I learn something whether it's because I'm in a different position or the flag's in a different position or I'm putting from a different direction or somebody else's. You see, I watch my playing partners. I watch what they're doing. I watch what clubs they're taking. And especially if it's round the greens, I definitely watch an awful lot to see what's going on. And it's the same with your comments and opinions. See, I learn stuff on the golf course and I learn stuff from what you people say. And it's much appreciated when what you say is the exact opposite of what I say. I think that's important that you should know that I value your opposite and different opinions and experiences. So a little in-betweener. Now, I'm hoping to go away in March. So this is the, this is the 11th of September and I need to get ready for March. Now, in, in throughout the winter, there's going to be very little chance for playing. So I've started my lessons and I've got to crack on now through September and October and into November before it gets really cold and see if I can get everything just, just right. And the reason I put so much time into my hobby is I enjoy my hobby and I want to do my hobby well. And if I'm going to drop quite a few thousand pounds on a three week golf holiday then I want to do my hobby well on my golf holiday on these special golf, horse, golf courses that I'm going to play. So yeah I'm going to put the time in. So there is going to be some videos of me putting my time in and getting ready for my holiday um, simply because I'm not going to be able to video golf when the golf course is closed in the winter when it's wet or it's frosty or it's covered in snow. So yeah, so the videos are going to be spread out a fraction more. When I say a fraction more, I'm only talking about a day or two. But it, it means that I can get four videos out in say 25 days instead of four videos out in 20 days. You know, it, it takes a fraction of the pressure off me making these things. Yeah, so um, express yourself in the comments. Tell me what you're up to. And tell me why your opinion is different to mine. And then we can all learn from it. I mean, the, the way I look at it, in the comments, you know, we don't get negative comments on this channel. It's, it's all positive comments. So I see that we're, we're all golfers, different levels of ability, different levels of 
time that we can put into our hobby. And, you know, we're all mates. Maybe I could change the channel. <laughs> I think that's been done with disastrous results, hasn't it? So, the hairy golfer. Yeah, I had a, I had a trim the other day. The, the beard trimmer is, it's a bit crap. It's a bit all or nothing. So if you're going to attack it, you tend to take all of it off. Anyway, I'm out to play in half an hour, so I'll say bye for now and uh, thank you all once again for your opinions. And remember, just because I'm the idiot with the camera, it does not mean I'm right. I would have to have my head firmly wedged up my arse to think that I was right. Some of it might be right, but not all of it. Anyway, ta -ra.